Okay, so now I want to introduce with you the miracle behavior of the papaya. So typically this is a male papaya plant, completely male, you can see the flower. This is completely male. This is the long petals with the hundreds of flower. But the miracle behavior, as I have said that, the papaya, the male plant, especially the male plant, sometimes they can chance themselves to harm a right. So for this you can see, miraculously, say, they have produced some fruits. So the fruits is totally deformed, not exactly the fruit we expected from the hermaphrodite or the female. So for this the fruit shape is deformed, uh, sometimes as unusual. So what they can. So for this I want to introduce that. This is male flower, but with the uh, changes of the temperature and the photo period, so sometimes the male they can modify themselves to hermaphrodite and sometimes they can produce some fruits so you can see very clearly this is a male 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 papaya plant but they are producing some fruits though this fruit is not the expected shape and size that we usually expect so you can see this is the long but this one you see round type so totally different so for this is the miracle behavior of the so this is a completely male. So I don't know, maybe sometimes they can modify themselves to be the hermaphrodite. Not all, sometimes some of the flower due to the changes of the temperature and the thought of period. So, so far from my, uh, in, in my knowledge that this is the only plant they can modify themselves like that. Uh, I don't know about other plants, whether they have or not. This is another one, the miracle you can see. They have produced one flower and one fruit from here again. So this is the male. The male behavior is the long, long petiole with huge number of flower and all are 100% male. But in some extent, when the temperature and the photo period changes, the some of the flower, they can modify themselves to be hermaphrodite. So this one is completely female. You can see. And female, female fruit is always... Uh, round or oblong type so the female flower you can see is very far from me so the female flower is always produced with the ovary so we can easily identify which one is male which one is female which one is hermaphrodite even hermaphrodite that means the male and female reproductive organ are in the same flower but if female only female reproductive organ that is only the heavy stigma with the ovary so this is the typical behavior eh? So this is actually in my village. So this is a bottle gourd, and this is the typical uh, fishing fish farm. Eh? Actually, they produce uh, shrimp with some other uh, freshwater fish. And miraculously, as I have said before, the farmers, the local farmers, they have modified their agricultural practices. So this is watermelon. Eh? So watermelon, they are growing in the trellis. You see. They're making trellis as a bottle gourd or palm keel. This is on type of cantaloupe. Uh, this is cantaloupe or melon, obviously melon. But this is on type of cantaloupe. Uh, it's a very big size. It's hopefully more than 2 kilograms already. So they are easy. In, in, in previous time, it's about 20 years back, the people they usually grow over the uh, land, plain land only, no trellis, no like, like that support, but they are doing that. And inside that, when the dry season, they usually grow rice. And when the rainy season, usually this uh, uh, usually uh, become uh, flooded. Uh, so only almost full with water. Then they start the uh, main season of the fishing. So all this is the same. The entire areas, entire areas is like that. So this is the, the miracle male papaya planta with some fruits.